The sight of these larvae might not be for everyone, but 30-year-old Skovia Namataka does not mind the wiggling maggots. She feeds them natural waste like mango and jackfruit leftovers. In return, they help her garden and her household income. I get the five days larvae, I put them in my drums. They spend uh, for only five, two weeks. They come and take the mature larvae and they give me some little money from it. I remain with my natural manure. These money-making maggots come from Marula Protein Hub, some 70 kilometers from Kampala, where teams rear the black soldier fly and distribute the larvae to farmers. Clean, eco-friendly and easy to keep, all they need is a warm environment, some water and a place to lay eggs. Once the larvae are five days old, they are sold to farmers who keep them for a fortnight and get fertilizer from the France. With fertilizer prices more than doubling in the region in the past year, it's a greener and cheaper alternative for local farmers. The war in Russia and Ukraine made the, fat, the other chemical fertilizers which were imported so expensive that the prices had hiked up. We couldn't manage buying those chemical fertilizers. And secondly, the harmful to the soils. Peter Wakisi is a network technician and a smallhold farmer. He made the change to natural fertilizers five months ago. Today, he uses the money he saved for his piggery project. As for the larvae, the hub buys the mature maggots back from the farmers like Peter for double the selling price. We transport the young larvae back to the production hub, but as it sits at the production hub, we have a set of clients that are interested in it. Reason being, it's a source of protein for animal feeds. So you find that people that are dealing in piggery fish farming and also poultry, use it to enhance the protein levels of their feed. The Marula Protein Hub started the program 18 months ago. Today it employs over 100 people and helps more than 1,200 farmers. The project hopes to tackle high unemployment among young Ugandans in the long run and increase food production in a country where over 70% of the population still work in agriculture.